Hi, my name is James Mulvaney from Radio.co. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can broadcast live internet radio using a tool called BUT, which stands simply for broadcast using this tool. I'm sure they could have thought of a better name, um, but it can be downloaded free from but.sourceforge.net. And it's a pretty good free tool. The great thing about it is it works on both Windows and also works on Mac, so you can install it on your MacBook or your iMac. And what you need to do once you've downloaded it is just drag it from here into the Applications folder, like so. And you should then be able to locate it within your Applications folder and launch the software. So once we've got the software opened up, we then can begin configuring it to broadcast to our radio station. Now, on the radio.co dashboard here, uh, I've I've got an account and I'm scheduled to broadcast in 10 minutes time so we best get our skates on a bit. Um, the information we need to connect is the host, the port and the password and we're going to simply copy this from the DJ bar here. As you can see at the moment it says there's no DJ connected. So let's change that by adding this information into BUT. And firstly we'll click on the settings option. This brings up a separate window and under server if we click on add it will prompt us to add these settings in the address, the port, the password. First of all, let's give this server a name. So I'm just going to call it radio.co. And this is just handy reference for if you're perhaps connecting different broadcasting servers. And we need to just copy this. Now, if I click on the uh, relevant bit of information in the control panel, you'll see it will go green, which means it's been copied to my clipboard. And I can just paste that in on but. The host, first of all, goes in the address field the port and then also our password and this information is unique to you on radio.co so it will vary from DJ to DJ. Once I've added all that in I can click on add and then you'll see it's come up on this list here so we know that because that's selected that's what we're going to be broadcasting. I can also adjust things such as the audio bitrate 128k is what we're going to be using for this and uh, I'll just close this window now and we're actually ready to connect. Now the button which you need in order to actually start broadcasting, you can see it's picking up the levels here uh, on the uh, green lights are showing up. If I click on play it will say connecting and then when it starts counting up, uh, which you can see down here in fact it says connection established and it's got all the details of uh, how you know we connected etc there and the corresponding field on our control panel in radio.co has also turned green now it says connected rather than no DJ connected now because the time before going live is still counting down the listeners won't actually hear what I'm saying right this second but as soon as that timer hits zero my show will then begin and it will cut to whatever I'm broadcasting at the time the reason behind this is just so you can show up a little bit before your show is due to begin and make sure you're connected and ready to go. Now, in the event of something going wrong, perhaps your internet connection or your computer crashes, or if we just click on stop, for example, and the live stream stops going out from our computer onto the internet, onto the server, uh, radio.co will automatically detect this and um, will actually start broadcasting from the playlist again, which is great because it means that you know your listeners won't get thrown off, they won't hear any dead air, they'll still get the same experience. And um, then let's say I start broadcasting again, if I click on play here, the system will again pick this up and it will automatically transfer back to my live broadcast. How clever is that? So radio.co is a really great platform for setting up and running your internet radio station. You can invite DJs to connect from all around the world and you can manage it all from your browser via the cloud, which is awesome, right? So if you've got any questions for us, we're here to help you. And our email address is studio at radio.co. You can also reach out to us on Twitter at radio.co. Thanks very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoy broadcasting with But and take care. Bye for now.